The Carbon Cycle by kscience.com Carbon exists in our atmosphere as carbon dioxide, CO2, and it is transferred from the air, the atmosphere, into trees and plants by photosynthesis. Plants absorbing CO2 for photosynthesis are going to remove CO2 from the atmosphere, whereby CO2 is absorbed into the plant where it is used for photosynthesis and it's converted into glucose. So remember, photosynthesis uses CO2 to produce glucose. Glucose is stored as starch in plants. So when an animal eats the plants, it is going to ingest the glucose via the starch. So the glucose is going to be transferred from the plants into the animals. The organism is then going to use that glucose for respiration, which happens in the mitochondria of cells. So the glucose, glucose is used for respiration, where the glucose is then converted back into CO2. And the animal or organism is going to release the CO2 back into the atmosphere. So respiration increases CO2 in the atmosphere. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. When an organism passes feces as waste, that puts carbon molecules back into the soil through excretion. When an organism dies, it decays, and it decomposes such as detritophores and bacteria that do the decomposing of the dead organism. The organisms that decay dead material, detritus feeders, fungi and bacteria. The detritus feeders fungi and bacteria are known as decomposers. These decomposers decay dead organisms, whereby the decomposers use carbon in the dead animal as an energy source for respiration. So they're going to convert the carbon-based molecules in the dead animal into CO2. So remember, respiration by detritus feeders, fungi and bacteria increase CO2 in the atmosphere. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. If organisms die and are preserved instead of decaying by decomposers, organisms can die and form fossil fuels underground, such as coal, oil and gas. Humans can then combust fossil fuels, releases carbon back into the atmosphere, as CO2. So carbon dioxide is released back into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide from combusting carbon-based materials, including wood and plastics too. So remember, the combustion of carbon increases CO2 in the atmosphere. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.